Yo, what's up everybody? We've just come out of lockdown. We are still currently in level 2.5 though, but today we are headed over to Rangitoto Island, which is Auckland's largest but youngest volcano. Yeah, and uh, it's gonna be an awesome day. We've got great weather out today as well. So we're gonna head over to the ferry terminal, which is just over there. But just a little thing to note, we just got here and uh, the There's instructions were to go to Pier 2. <laughs> yeah. Because of that construction, we're heading over to Pier 4. So you might wanna just check Double if you check. do come. Yes. <laughs> Let's go! Just scanned our tickets and underneath this mask I am smiling but uh, <laughs> you do need to wear these on public transport on level 2.5. It's taken me ages to get around here. Hey bud, you excited? Well, I'm a little nervous because my motion sickness. <laughs> but at least it's only a 25 minute ferry ride. Yeah, it's real quick. You'll be alright. <laughs> How was your seasickness? It was touch and go. <laughs> but we're here now and thankfully short ride. If you're looking to come here to Rangitoto Island, the tickets are normally $43, but if you buy them online like how we did, they're $39 for return. There's only a few times uh, during the day that you can actually um, get on the ferry. So it's either 9.30 or 10.30 to get on. And coming back, it's either 2.30 or 3.30. I think there's a couple of different um, uh, ferries during the weekend though so we're coming here during weekday. Check your times. <laughs> Check your times but now the adventure begins. Yes. I'm pretty excited for this because uh, it's not every day that you're going to be able to climb, climb a, volcano. a volcano so this is going to be cool. <laughs> so apparently it's an hour's walk to the summit which is what we're going to do. You can also get one of those explorer tour things which I would have liked <laughs> but it's only a 15 minute drive and you do miss out on a nice walk apparently. Don't so. be lazy. Yes, we're gonna do the walk and hopefully it's just a gradual incline. Some other things to know though is that it is a pest free island so you've got to make sure that <laughs> Peter's just checking that he's not falling off this <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make sure that your food are in sealed containers, you don't have any stowaways, you gotta brush your shoes like what we did earlier and take all your rubbish with you. There aren't any um, shops on the island at all, so that's why you gotta bring your own food and there are toilets just at the start here where we were before. So as you can see behind me, there is tons of this black volcanic rock. Yeah, it's cool with like the green bits sticking out. <laughs> you haven't seen this kind of stuff before though, eh? No, it's my first time at Rangitoto, but Peter's been before. Yeah, I came here when I was like a little kid, like 10 years old, when we went to Mototapu Island for I camp. to Mototapu, yeah. Camp and you didn't all. come to Rangitoto. No. <laughs> you got short changed on your camp what? trip. <laughs> you got a fancy one. <laughs> In terms of footwear, I am just wearing my jandals today, yep. but you know, it actually might be a good idea to wear proper shoes because some of these rocks, they yeah, are pokey. pretty pokey and sharp here, so I <laughs> just have be to careful. be a little bit careful. <laughs> Rangitoto was formed 600 years ago, and these tracks that you see and the roads on the island were built by prison labor. I studied. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nerdy. I know. <laughs> And if you're lucky like us, you might hear a tui bird. It was so chattery. <laughs> it's really cute. <laughs> Never heard it quite so noisy before. Maybe it's just because the island's so quiet. So we are about 10, 15 minutes away from the summit now. I gotta let you guys know, this person behind me, she's uh, she's uh, really struggling now. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, in the last about 20 minutes, 15 minutes, it was a bit of a struggle. I did have to take a bit of a breather, but I'm good to go now for our last stretch. So about 15 minutes from the summit there are also lava caves apparently and you can yeah. do a detour to get there but it would be you know 30 minutes extra like 30 minutes that. so yeah peter didn't want to do that we're only two minutes from the summit now we found this lookout platform if you've ever wondered what's down into a volcano crater you can actually <laughs> see that on this walk which is really cool uh, there's no lava or anything like that in <laughs> fact there's only kind of trees and mud so that's reassuring actually <laughs> since we live so close here just like in primary school <laughs> packed our own lunches for the day. I don't know what Peter's packed uh, and... I don't know what Yin's packed either. <laughs> you want to go first? I need to untake all my uh, cellar tape off of my lunchbox. Oh, did first. your lid not cover properly? No. Nah. Oh, I've got one of those good lock ones. So I've got some Shrewsbury biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> 
classic yin food. <laughs> Bought some gum. Oh, nice, nice. Some gum. <laughs> and what are these sandwiches that you got here? So I made some kaya bread and one peanut butter and jam. And I just got some uh, peanut butter and jam oh sandwiches. Look at this. It's blueberry guys. jam. Hey, it also has hey. chocolate. <laughs> oh yeah, I've also got two rows of uh, Woodaker's um, fruit and nut chocolate. <laughs> So we're about to smash these uh, sandwiches down and then take a proper look around the summit part. It does look very nice from our quick little walk yeah, up. Yeah, you've got the whole like hauraki views. Okay, you're doing great. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, so we needed some of that sustenance, getting yeah. a little bit hungry. And now we can show you guys around. Beautiful day and beautiful views here at the summit. There's Mototapu Island right over there. We were telling you that's where we went to camp. Yin and I. Yes. And uh, when you look out on that side, which we'll take you to soon, uh, you get a beautiful view of um, Auckland, Auckland City, City as well. And this is just like 360 degrees of the Hauraki, which is pretty epic on a nice day like today. We're going to head back now. We don't want to miss the ferry because it's very expensive. If you get stranded here, you've got to call them for help and get picked up. Oh, really? Yeah, you'll get charged like fees, I would guess, and that's only fair because they make it very clear when to be back by. <laughs> Yen is now rushing towards those lava caves. Well, I don't want to miss the ferry, <laughs> but we do want to see the lava caves and show you guys too. Hopefully it's not too dark, but we're not too sure, so... Yen is super prepared. She actually brought some torches. You need a torch! The website says! <laughs> <laughs> that is the cave entrance. Yeah. That is a Yen. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a torch! <laughs> you excited for this? Go have a quick look. <laughs> so the terrain here is way more rocky than the walk up to the summit. So Peter's had to be extra careful in his jandals. Yeah, I yeah. sure have. Oh, it's really dark. And here's Peter coming after me. Hello. So it is pretty dark in here. This might be the it last is. bit of light that we get. I hope we don't come across any witters in here. Oh no, don't tell me that. Don't <laughs> tell me that. I don't know if this torch is bright enough. <laughs> so I think it does a pretty good job. <laughs> okay, so we made it in through this cave and we're going out. Oh man, the whole time I could not stop thinking about spiders and witters. Thanks, Geek. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was my bad. <laughs> yeah, it's just really, really quiet and dark in there. <laughs> but anyways, we are going to head back now. Hopefully we won't miss that ferry. <laughs> but last fact, something that we read about Rangitoto Island is that um, it's got strong association to Maori people. Though they've never lived or inhabited the place here because of the arid and rocky terrain. Um, they did used to use the summit during the times of war to have a look out over the Hauraki Gulf. And also there's supposed to be ancestral burial grounds along the island somewhere for the bones that they bring across over from Motutapu Island. Just in the nick of time, we saw some other people that unfortunately missed it as we were. Uh, I'll just show you guys. You can still kind of make out those people over there. They just missed the ferry, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, we're headed on the way back now. Another 25 minutes ride to get back to the city. And uh, where are we doing again? Commercial Bay. Yeah, I think we're going to head the commercial way. We made it now to Commercial Bay and sorry for the loud noise, there's a lot of construction going on all around. Jen and I have been here really briefly one time but we're going to have a proper look around today. It opened just after the first lockdown in April sometime and it is more of a touristy spot but since right now it is you know pandemic time, um, it's Friday. not as busy right now <laughs> and a weekday as well. But yeah, um, it's pretty flash as you can see so we'll just take you all around here and have a look. So Yen and I have been to some pretty cool malls like overseas with some impressive architecture so it's really cool to see New Zealand kind of step up its game in terms of like that nice designy architecture <laughs> mall as well. So that is, it's got a nice vibe to it but definitely also some of the more expensive kind of shops is what you'll find in this place. I see some food behind you. Yeah I see some food as well so um, I'm pretty excited to check out the food court. Hit 35 years old, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches just don't cut it anymore. I've got a uh, spaghetti bolognese, that's pretty good. And especially nice, 
after a long day doing all that walking. <laughs> Well, my milk tea's arrived. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to shake it first, but I guess I will. It's really tall, so it took the um, pearls a while to get up the straw. <laughs> so you got a lot more tea than you did pearls, huh? That's right. That's very nice. Uh, it's not super sweet, which is good. I don't even need to tell them sugar levels or anything. And the boba's are good and squishy. That wraps up our day out. We hope you've enjoyed exploring Rangitoto Island with us and then that walk around commercial bay. Gotta say, I'm a little tired though, so kind of ready for a nap. <laughs> this one's ready. I'm incredibly unfit. <laughs> anyways guys, we hope if you enjoyed this episode, you will give us those likes, subscribe if you haven't already, drop us a comment, we love hearing from you. Yeah, Yen and I will continue traveling outside of Auckland as soon as uh, we feel it's a little bit more safer, comfortable. Yeah, because yeah. we're not quite down at level 2 yet, we're still at 2.5. Yeah. Hopefully we'll go down to a 2 or a 1 soon. But until then, we'll catch you next see time. See you later. See ya. <laughs>